hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we will learn to make a full screen menu design with animation we will make this full screen website menu using html css and very simple javascript on this website you can see there is a menu icon at the top right corner when we click on this icon it will open the full screen menu and when we click it again it will close this menu first it add a dark layer on the complete website then menu links appears with some animation i have added some hover effect on these menu links this icon is also changing from open icon to close icon when we click on it we will make this beautiful website menu step by step using html css and javascript but before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel easy tutorials now let's start this video here in this folder, I have one HTML file, one CSS file and another folder called images and in this images folder you can see some icons and image. You can find all these images download link in the video description. Now let me open these files with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structure and here is the title. This is the CSS file and in this HTML file I have added this link tag that will connect the HTML and CSS file. Now we will add the code within the body tag. So here we will create one div with the class name container. and we will add the CSS for this container. So in this one, we will add the width and height. Width will be 100% and height 100vh which is viewport height. Then we have to change the background. So here we will add the background image and URL. In this URL we will add the image file path. Then we will add the background size and background position. After that, we will open the HTML file with any web browser. So you can see this image on complete web page. Now let me close this browser and I will open the website with the Visual Studio Code extension called Live Server so that it will refresh the web page automatically whenever we will add any changes. So you can see the same website but the URL has been changed. Now just come back and we will add one menu icon. So after closing of this container div, here we will add one image write the file path of the icon which is images slash menu.png and we will add one id so it is menu icon after adding this come back to the website you can see this icon at the bottom left side so we have to change the position and size just come back and write this id here in the css file with the hashtag so for this menu icon we will add the width then we will add border radius 50 percent and we will add the position fixed it will be fixed in right side so we will add top 40 pixel right 60 pixel and cursor pointer z index 100 after updating this come back to the website you can see this menu icon at the top right corner next we have to add one layer so just come back and uh, after this image we will add one div with the class name menu box now in this menu box we will add ul li and a tag so in this a tag we will add the menu link so the link text is home let's duplicate it and change the link text this will be portfolio next is services then about and contact after that come back to the website you can see these links at the bottom left side so we have to change the position so just come back and first we will add the CSS for this menu box. Write this class name here in the CSS file with a dot. And here we will add width and height. It will be 100% and 100 VH height. Then we will add the background. In this background we will add a black color with 0.8 opacity. Then we will add the position fixed, top 0 and right 0. So it will cover the complete web page. You can see this dark layer on the complete web page and this link here in the left side. So we have to move these links in the center. For that, just come back and 
In this menu box, we will add display flex, align item center and justify content center. So all the contents will be in the center. Here we will add overflow hidden. After that, come back to the website. You can see these links in the center. Now we have to change the color and we have to add some space. So just come back and uh, here we have the links in UL, LI and A. So just come back. Here we will add dot menu box then ul and li so for these list we will add list style none and we will add a space margin 20 pixel then text align center you can see some space around each link next we have to change the color so just come back and write it again then write a tag for these anchor text we will add display inline block then text decoration color and font size and font weight then add position relative you can see it looks good next we will add the hover effect on these links so again we will add this one then write hover so whenever we will take cursor there will be one shadow so here we will add text shadow minus 3 pixel 3 pixel 0 and red again copy this one and add it here in this a tag here it will be 0 and 0 so it will be hidden behind the text then we will add transition text shadow 0 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 seconds to move this shadow you can see this red color of shadow that comes out smoothly from the text next we have to move these link text up whenever we will take cursor so just come back and here we will add transform translate by minus 6 pixel and in this transition we will add this transform right comma transform 0 0.5 seconds so it will take 0.5 seconds to move this text by 6 pixel so you can see whenever we will take cursor we have the shadow and it is moving up next we have to add one small dot at the end of each menu link and that dot will be displayed whenever we will take cursor so again copy this one here we will add double colon after that is the pseudo element in this one we have to add content empty then width and height will be same and uh, border radius 50 percent so that it will be a circle and then we have to add the background it will be white then we will add the position absolute and bottom and right to set the position where it will be displayed so you can see this a small dot at the end of each menu link right now this dot is visible so we have to hide this dot and it will be visible whenever we will take cursor to hide this one just come back and here we will add opacity 0 so it will be hidden you can see all dots are hidden now just come back and write it again then write hover then after so whenever we will take cursor then this CSS will be applied so here we will add opacity 1 it will be visible and we have to add the shadow also so here we will add box shadow minus 2 pixel 2 pixel 0 and red copy this shadow and write it here in this after it will be 0 0 and 0 then we will add transition box shadow 0 0.5 seconds So this will be very smooth transition of box shadow. After that come back to the website you can see if I take cursor we have one dot at the end of the menu link and we have the shadow in that dot. Next we have to add click function on this icon. So this icon will close and display the menu. So just come back and uh, here we have the CSS for menu box. So we will make it 0, width 0 and height 0. So it will be hidden. You can see it is hidden. We can't see the menu link. Now again come back to the CSS file and copy this menu box, write it here. Then write dot open menu. We are adding a new class name open menu and we will add the width and height 100% and 100 VH. So whenever we will add open menu class name, 
the width and height will be 100 percent and uh, we will also add border bottom left radius 0 and in this menu box we will add border bottom left radius 100 percent then we will add the transition width 0.5 second and height 0.5 seconds and border radius 0.5 seconds so the width and height will increase smoothly and border radius also change smoothly now we have to add this class name using javascript whenever we will click on the menu icon it will apply that open menu class name and it will remove that open menu class name so come back to the html file and in this div we will add one id called menu box now here just above this closing body tag we will add a script tag within this script we will add variable so let's add let menu box equal to document dot get element by id and write this id which is menu box duplicate it and here we will add the another id menu icon and here also menu icon next we have to add the click function on menu icon so here we will add menu icon dot on click equal to function so whenever we will click on the menu icon this function will be executed so in this one we will add menu box dot class list dot toggle and write the class name open menu so whenever this function will be called it will add and remove this open menu class name from menu box if it is there it will remove that class name if it is not there it will add that class name you can see if i click here it is displaying the menu and if i click again it is hiding that menu next we have to change this icon also right now here we have the menu icon so this icon should change from menu icon to close icon so just come back and here we will add one if condition whenever we will click on the icon it will check menu box dot class list dot contains if the class list contains open menu it means the menu is open so if the menu is open it should display the close icon so here we will add menu icon dot src and in this src we have to add the file path of the close icon so let's see here we have added the file path for the menu icon add it here and we will change the image close.png it is the close icon then we will add the else condition that means if the menu is closed it will display the menu icon to open the menu so you can see it is checking the condition if the menu is open then it will add the close icon and else it is displaying menu icon you can see if i click here it will open the menu and the icon is closed if i click on the close icon it will close the menu and again you can see the menu icon so this icon is working fine next we have to add some delay and animation in the menu links right now this menu link appeared instantly so we have to add some delay and this will come with smooth animation it will move up so just come back come to the css file just copy this menu box open menu then write ul and li so for all the list here we will add opacity 1 and then we will add transform translate by 0 this opacity and transform will be applied when we will add the open menu here we will add transition transform one second then opacity one second then we will add transition delay 0 0.5 seconds so there will be some delay now just copy this two line opacity and transform and add it here in this li 
so initially opacity will be zero so it will be hidden so paste it and change opacity zero so it will be hidden and in this transform translate y we will add 30 pixel so it will be down by 30 pixel and whenever we will open the menu it will change the opacity 1 and translate y 0. So just come back to the website again and you can see if I click here it will open the menu and display the menu links after 0.5 seconds and these menu links move up by 30 pixel and you can see the beautiful hover effect also. So finally we have completed this beautiful full screen menu design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question you can ask me in the comment section. Please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.